guys. Uh, welcome back to the video or videos. Um, it's wonderful to have you here as always. So, just gotten back from work. I'm pretty excited today because I've got a heap I've got to do on the built motor. I ended up getting my heads back. Um, I just got a new bottle of Argon from work. Uh, my boss was nice enough to supply me that, which is good. Uh, but yeah, I've got a lot to do today and I'm pretty excited to hook into it and get this thing finished off so I can get it back in the car. Um, I've got my lifters I've cleaned, rockers are cleaned and push rods are in there, head studs are ready to go, got the head back from the machine shop, they look pretty schmick. All nicely surfaced. Um, brand new stainless valves in both intake and exhaust. Um, you can see it down there. Uh, I've got my fuel valve springs and retainer that I was using before. But he has had to, you probably can't see it, but he's had to shim them to get the right, right spring pressure because some of the valves were a bit longer than what the other ones were. So my goal today, uh, yeah that's right, I just took that into work with me today and I'm a bit bummed out about that. I'll get to that in a second. Today my goal is get the cling wrap off it, clean the deck, clean all the surfaces, roll it over. I got my stretch gauge here. Finally came in a couple of weeks or three weeks after I ordered it. So I got to roll it over, torque down all the rod bolts, um, do up the cam bolt because it's still loose. And I want to try and mark the balancer uh, TDC, so that way I know where timing is. Oh, those are the push rods. I was going to be looking for those. I'm probably going to need these. So these push rods are a bit shorter than the other ones. I'm probably going to need to use a combination of those and those. But I'll get to that. I get to that. So anyway, I'm going to stop mumbling. I'm going to start cutting this off. Um, oh, that's right. I got a new set of dowels for the cylinder head. I took this in to work with me today to give it a clean and pack the oil pump with oil. As you can see, I got some of the lube in there. And as I was tightening on the the rear oil pump cover, I cracked the fucking the cover. I must have over torqued it, and it just cracked it. So I'm gonna have to order another one of these, which is a shame. But it is what it is. So, word to the wise, don't talk these bolts down very much. They only need like 11 newton meters. You know, I just swung off it. Bad idea. Um, I also took this into work with me and just trimmed the pickup down because it, it has just a wee little tiny hole in the bottom of it. Uh, it probably isn't enough. Chucked a new O-ring on there as well so it can go on the motor. But yeah. That's it. Enough rambling for me. I'm going to get this apart and I'll roll it over and start working on the rod bolts.
that's all the rod bolts torqued down. Next step, put these watt plugs in. Get uh, them looking good. So the battery went flat, I've gone, I marked the balancer. Um, just there. That center one is the mark that I want, but I'm gonna go and double check that again once it's assembled. So now I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna get ready to get the heads on. I'll get the dowels in the block. Uh, copper coat the gaskets. And then we'll just go one side at a time, bolt the heads down, uh, put all the lifters in. Uh, mm, maybe put the lifters in. I might start soaking them in some oil actually. Alright, so I guess we'll start with this side.
sure I don't have a socket big enough for that.
excuse me. Um, the edge of the rocker sits out here on the uh, corner of the, the valve and then rolls down over the middle and then back up to the edge. So I'll, uh, I'll give the engine builder a call and see what he thinks. Because I mean, I would have thought they would have wanted to be sort of around the middle. But yeah, apart from that, the heads are assembled. Um, tomorrow I may come out and uh, modify that. I'll see how I'm feeling. Also, might finish off the uh, the intake manifold there. But that's going to be it from me today in this video. Um, I have to do a bit of research. I'm gonna to have to order another bloody cover plate, another set of push rods. Um, and that's about it, really. Uh, the rod bolts seem to talk up all right. I am um, a couple of them started off at a little bit different sizes so I'm gonna do a bit of research on that as well I think there's probably gonna be a service limit I'll check what that is and if any of them are outside of that I'll bin those or I may end up just binning them and getting a new set anyway um, this thing just keeps seeming to drag on and on and something else and something else and then there's something else starting to get a bit weary and tired of it but that's what happens when you build motors anyway heads are on they're all good to go Um, yeah, that's it. Basically, about it. Um, just got to go and pull the stock motor out now. I don't know when I'm going to get around to that. And I'll probably wait until this motor's fully assembled and all set up, ready to go. <clears throat> it's coming along. Um, Anyway, I don't really have much else to say about the subject. I'm a bit bummed out about that uh, push rod. I thought these shorter ones would have been the right length, but they're not. I also thought these would have been the right length because the valve heights are slightly different. One valve is just slightly longer than the other, which is also going to make it fun to get the right sort of push rods. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna oil up some of these surfaces just so they don't rust. Put some rags over it, I may. If I feel up to it, I might cling wrap it again a little bit. Let's see how we go. But anyway, that's gonna be it for me in this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, uh, please leave a like, chuck a comment below, and uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more, and yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in the next one, probably modifying this up, anyway, thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye.